So, you've seen those like 16 gigabyte SSDs that are on eBay for like eight or nine dollars, right? Well, most people don't really buy those because you can't exactly install Windows 10 or something like that on them because of how little storage they have. Or can you? Let's say I have this Intel Optane 16 gigabyte SSD and we're going to be trying to install Windows 10 on it. So, let's get into this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and install this 16 gigabyte Intel Optane SSD. Um, these run for about like $15, which is more expensive than Intel R ones, but I can link you guys a couple of posts down there where they definitely have them for like less than $10. So, first off, I need to go ahead and um, turn off my computer so I can install this. The graphics card is actually in the way of it and not to the SSD. So, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. So, I kind of do have to explain how this works. You see, most devices, usually at the very lowest when it comes to Windows 10, have a 32 gigabyte SSD. And usually after you first install Windows, you'll only see something like 8 gigabytes free. Now, that got me thinking. In order to get a Windows 10 installation tool, you need a flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes of storage. So, all the information only takes up 8 gigabytes, right? Well, how could it not? you're only installing off of that hard drive and you can do it offline meaning that you don't have to be connected to internet in order to uninstall or install Windows 10. So I actually did some research and it turns out on a 64-bit processor it needs at least 20 gigabytes of storage in order to actually install but on an actual 32 gigabyte or 86 x86 processor it takes only 12 gigabytes so theoretically if we did a 32 system install it should just work actually installing an m.2 drive actually takes a different sort of bit so i had to grab a smaller one now um, fun fact we might only be able to do the x86 install because this SSD it actually uses a little bit of um, pre-built in storage, which I believe is called a cache storage, where it actually doesn't give us the full 16 gigabytes, it takes away like two or three. So this only has 13 gigabytes. There we go, get this installed. And there, it's installed. So basically what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Windows 10 installation USB plug it into the computer and we should be good to go. Now um, there are other versions that you could do which is um, Windows 10 in S mode or the Windows 10 IoT core which Windows 10 in S mode is specifically for low storage devices or not as powerful processors and basically it means you can't download any um, external apps you can only download internal apps. Quick note, I'm gonna unplug my two SATA drives down here. That way I don't accidentally um, write over my previous window installations. And now we can go ahead and turn the computer back on. So this 16 gigabyte USB drive is a Windows 10 installation for me. You only need eight gigabytes to actually install Windows, which is why it was a very like, thoughtful thing in my mind of why can't you just install an 8 gigabyte SSD. So we're going to try it on a 16 gigabyte one. You can still get these for like really cheap. And who knows, maybe you can even install them on USB flash drives. Okay, time to turn on the computer. And we're going to boot directly to our USB flash drive. We're going to choose our UFEI Kingston disk and we should be booting into the Windows installation. And looky here, we are in. Just gonna go ahead and set up our install. 
All right, so it zoomed in view because um, it looks like we haven't actually been able to take focus on most of this. The amount of free space selected partition is smaller than the 34 gigabyte recommendation. We recommend at least 34 gigabytes before installing or selecting another partition. So we already knew that was gonna happen. Um, let's go ahead and install. We cannot create a new partition or, or locate the existing one. More information, please. Okay, let's try formatting. Next, we cannot create a new partition or locate the existing one. Okay. Okay. The partitions on selected disk for installing are not the recommended one. Please, for additional information about installing to GPT disk, go to the Microsoft website installation and search for GPT. Do you want to proceed with the installation? Yes, I do. And from what it looks like, we are actually getting inside the installation. Windows cannot install the required files. Um, okay, I have a secondary solution. Let's try a different way. Okay, so we actually went ahead and grabbed a different installation media. So hopefully, if I just go ahead and scroll down to 32-bit, we can load up an x86 menu, which from what my research says, we should be able to install as long as we have at least 12 gigabytes of storage. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Add a product key. There we go, we get all the x86 installs. So I think, just run this in pro. So uninstall, create Windows installation. Over here. Oh, Windows cannot be installed. Uh, this is because we have the GPT format for a newer system. So we're going to go ahead and convert this. So it looks like we're getting the same message on here saying we need at least 32 gigabytes of storage. We're going to ignore this and just hope that it works when we go past. So yeah, let's do this. So it says that Windows cannot be installed um, due to not being able to write the required files. This isn't the end though. All right guys, so it's been months and it turns out I actually was able to get Windows installed on a 16 gigabyte drive and to prove it 16 gigabytes we're going to go ahead open up file explorer and as you can see 15.6 gigs of free storage or of actual storage now you might be thinking okay how'd you do this what, what little trick did you pull on here well you can probably tell considering the fact that the size of the screen don't even like hit the aspect ratio this isn't actually like a main computer this is actually a virtual machine <laughs> so if i click out of here yep as you can see this is a virtualized version of windows it's not actually like windows on a 16 gigabyte hard drive and there are a couple of reasons for that now first off um when I originally did this with my last M.2 drive, pretty much it like, I, I'm pretty sure it brought the total storage that was able to be used to like 13.6 and Windows didn't want to install that. So I created a disk that had 15.6 gigs on VirtualBox and it actually worked installing on that. So that ended up working and we were able to get it installed. Now, obviously, I was not expecting to get much out of this. Um, as you can see, all we've done is installed Minecraft and have like two Windows updates and we only have one gigabyte left. So, but hey, you know, it worked. 
But yeah, so sorry we had to like cut it short and like spend eight months like doing nothing on it. I kind of like, completely forgot about this project until I had the random idea when I was messing with virtual machines. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos on the channel. Thanks for watching Tech Sync, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.